Hey, Bobcat Nation. This is your assistant principal, Mr. Shiner. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about bullying and cyberbullying. So what is bullying? Bullying is unwanted, aggressive behavior among school day children that involves a real or perceived power imbalance. The behavior is repeated or has the potential to be repeated over time. Both kids who are bullied who are or bully others may have serious lasting problems. So in order to be considered bullying, the behavior must be aggressive and include an imbalance of power. Kids who bully use their power such as physical strength, access to embarrassing information, or popularity to control or harm others. Power imbalances can change over time and, and in different situations, or even if they involve the same people. The other thing is repetition. Bullying behaviors happen more than once or have the potential to happen more than once. So those are the two things we really look at. Is there an imbalance of power? And is this something that's been happening over time? Now, it doesn't have to happen a lot over time. It could just be someone that has an imbalance of power. You are considered a bully. Um, bullying includes such acts as making threats, spreading rumors, attacking someone physically or verbally, and excluding someone from a group um, or events. Now, the other big thing is cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is bullying that takes place over digital devices such as cell phones, computers, and tablets. Cyberbullying could happen through SMS, could happen through text and apps, or online and social media forums, or gaming where they can view or participate and share content. So the most common areas that cyberbullying usually occurs is social media, such as Instagram, Snapchat, or TikTok. For example, if you make a TikTok video and you call out someone else in that TikTok video, that is cyberbullying. So that includes sending posts, sharing negative or harmful, false, or mean content with someone else. Uh, it can include sharing personal or private information about someone else causing embarrassment or humiliate, humiliation. Some cyberbullying crosses the line into unlawful or criminal behavior. We've had our student resource officer in the past have to investigate and actually get a search warrant to search students' uh, online accounts, such as their Instagram account or their TikTok account. So this is something we're going to definitely be focusing on this school year and make sure that you are, again, being responsible online because a lot of our bullying is taking place over Instagram and over TikTok and over Snapchat. Now, what happens if you are bullying or cyberbullying someone? You will be assigned SSR for five days. Conflict mediation would need to be completed with the person that you did the uh, bullying to uh, so that you the bullying does stop. The student would need to complete five hours of community service. That community service may include campus beautification or working with a local uh, volunteer shelter, like an animal shelter, parks and rec center, or church. A parent meeting would also be held because there would be a, a no contact contract set up between the bully and the victim. And we would also set in a check in, check out, and set some goals for you as well through that parent meeting. If it happened a second time where you were bullying again, student would be suspended three days off campus and then returned for another two days of SSR. And again, we have some type of mediation done uh, with the bully uh, to make sure that the bullying doesn't take place again. You would then also need to complete 10 hours of community service and you'd be entered into our tier three uh, program through Bobcat University with Ms. Hanno. Lastly, if those interventions still do not work um, and you are harassing students because it would turn into harassment after uh, multiple offenses, student would be suspended for five days off campus and be referred to the district for expulsion. If the expulsion hearing is held, the Board of Education would make a decision based upon the information provided. And part of that expulsion could include being expelled from the district for two semesters. It could involve a change of placement, or the Board of Education could decide that neither offense, these offenses do not warrant expulsion, and you may return to Monta Vista Middle School. So that is, those are the consequences involved with 
bullying and cyberbullying and harassment. So please, students, please be respectful, responsible, and safe. And please do not bully or cyberbully or harass other students on campus. Thank you.